Hello everyone, welcome to DG Bytes. I am Vabu Gupta, your Alteryx expert, and today we are going to learn about multi-row formula tool in Alteryx. Users face multiple challenges while using this tool, so we will make it simple for you with two easy use cases. Then why wait? Let's start. Let's first go through the data set on which we are going to work on. As we said that there will be two use cases on which we will be working. So let's one by one uh, see the data that these use cases uh, will be containing. So the first data set is related to cricketers and second is related to employees. So let's check the data that these sheets contains. So when we are checking the data of cricketer, uh, uh, sheet we see that there are two fields in the field one we have serial name and in the field two we have the names of the cricketers but there is one uh, trick here the names are not in the same or i would say the name is not completely mentioned in the one row they are in the alternative rows so if you see the first name uh, of the cricketer travis uh, is in the first row and uh, his second name or I would say the surname is in the second row. Similarly for Sachin then Tentulkar. So similarly for all the cricketers uh, the names uh, are not in the single row but in two rows uh, one after another. So in this use case we have to create a new row where the complete name of the cricketers is shown. So this is the use case one. Now let's move to the use case two. In the use case two, if you see, we have a data of employees with their details and their salaries. So the aim of this particular use case is we want to see the sum of the uh, salary of employee and his uh, next employee. So suppose if uh, the like salary for James is 35,000 and ja uh, salary for uh, Josephin is 45,000. So what we want to see is in the next column, uh, the sum of these two. So 35,000 plus 45,000 here. So it should be uh, 8,000. Similarly, 45,000 plus 50,000, then it will be 95,000. So in this way, we want to see the sum of the salaries of the first employee and the next employee uh, after him in the sheet. So let's start working on the Alteryx workflows for these two use cases. So let's start with the first use case, which is our Cricketer data set. So I will drag here the input data tool and then I will select the sheet from which I want to fetch the data as I already used this data set before. So I will directly pull this data from this uh, saved references and click on OK. So I have the data now. So now we will go and drag from the preparation tool the multi row formula tool. So I will drag it here. My aim is that I want to get the names, complete names of the cricketers into one row. So what I will do is as a, a first row from which the first name can be pulled is the current row. So I will take name from the zeroth row and just double click it and the expression is written now the second thing i want to give a space before the first name and the last name so i will add plus here and double quotes uh, with the space in between now again the plus sign and now i want to have the next row value again from the uh, name column so i again double click on it 
and the expression is ready if you see the by default in the field which we are creating uh, uh, got the name as new field and the type is integer but as we are using the name and it is of string field we should uh, change the type to let's say v string and increase the size to maybe 30 and let's name it as complete name and now i will run this workflow if you see here we have the complete name but now there is one problem as we combine the name and the next row name uh, for every record so we have junk data as well because uh, first row is right travis head but in the second it again took the next row which is had such in which is not a existing name so now we have to remove this junk data so what we will do is we will now try to filter out the alternative rows so for that what i will do is i will drag a filter column here and i will go to the custom filter option and write an expression so if I will use a mod function if mod of the field serial number divided by 2 equals to 1 then I will set it as true else I will not allow that field so if now I run this you can see we have the right complete name in corresponding to the first name of the cricketers but now there is one problem we have the serial numbers of order in a like alternative way or i would say odd numbers so i want to uh, get these numbers in a right order so what i can do is i can simply drag and drop here the record id tool and i will say name it as serial number and uh, now what i will do is uh, before that i will select a select tool and i will remove the old serial number and also the name field and now this serial number will come and it will be pointed as first column and now if i run it i have the desired serial numbers desired complete name so this is the first use case which we took the names of the cricketers where they were in alternative rows uh, we fixed them using the multiple row formula tool and uh, use the modulus function to filter out the junk data and arrange the, using a record id uh, the serial numbers so now let's build the workflow for the second use case which was the employee data where we want to sum up the salaries of the employees so let's uh, drag in the data here input tool and then we will select the employee csv now you see there is one error coming that uh, uh, the workflow is not able to or i would say the tool is not able to uh, fetch the data so there is a trick here whenever we are getting a csv file data as an input in all tricks we need to make sure that that particular file is not open so in my desktop this particular file is open so that's why it's giving me error now if i close this file and go to my workflow and try to run it so now it will show no error so again i have this salary data with me for the employee again i will drag and drop here the multi row formula tool 
this time I will be creating a double type column and let's name this column as sum salary but uh, before uh, like uh, creating this particular column let's check what is the type for the uh, columns salary from which we will be fetching this value so as it is coming from csv by default it takes as v string so let's change it to again double now in when we do the calculation it will not create any sort of error so we want to, to sum the salary of the first employee and the next employee so let's use salary column here and then add the plus sign and then select the salary of the next employee and if we now run this we will have the new column as sum of salary where the values have been summed up so if you see here 45,000 plus 50,000 is 95,000 50,000 plus 35,000 85,000 35,000 40,000 it's 8,000 so like that the value of the salaries got summed up for the first employee and its next employee so this is the simplest use cases where you understood that we can uh, just use this uh, multi-row formula tool uh, to write expressions as we use the simple formula tool the only difference is uh, we have to take care like which field from which row we want to fetch we can also like uh, if you are seeing here only row minus one row plus one we can also increase these numbers as well so let's say i clicked on three and if i go back i can see row minus three row minus two etc etc so uh, in this way you can see all the values which uh, are there uh, or which you want to utilize which rows you want to utilize uh, in this simple easy way it is not a tough tool it's just you have to make sure you are using the right rows uh, while doing your calculations in case you feel that you need further help or you are facing any challenge while utilizing this tool just let us know in the comments or if you have any use case which you want to work or implement and you need support just let us know via comments again on this video thank you everyone and i hope you really enjoyed this video and able to learn and grasp this multi-row formula tool